All right, <clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rokakudash, the honors to the elder apostles, great millstone, salutation, and much love to you, Akim, out there pushing out his word and truth and sincerity. And, um, you know, Lord's will, this is an edifying video and exhorting. Uh, I just want to do a quick video, you know, about the, uh, the prophecies that are taking place and, you know, how they're going to continue to get a lot worse, all right? You know, you got this whole, <clears throat> it's like, you got the whole coronavirus situation, which is uh, spreading, okay? And whether it was made in the laboratory in Canada or not, that's irrelevant because ultimately it's all the, uh, the Heavenly Father, you know, bringing plagues upon the earth. And this is just one of the beginning plagues, all right? This is just the beginning. It's going to get a lot worse. There's going to come a time when there's going to be flesh-eating diseases out there, you know, you know, have, having niggas dying within hours of contracting a, a so-called uh, such disease or whatever, you know, disease X Y Z, whatever they're gonna label it as. There's gonna be people bleeding out from every crevice of their body, all right, until they just drop dead, all right. They're gonna be fle like I said, flesh-eating diseases, which is all pestilence, okay. They're gonna be the pl the, the plague of the hearts, people dying from fear, okay. There's gonna be a lot of things that are gonna gonna make seeing what's going on right now look like nothing. Okay, because it's gonna the, the these end days are gonna continue to get worse and worse. All right, so we'll go ahead and start in Matthew uh, twenty-four and verse six. It says, "And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet." Yeah, like we've been hearing about these rumors of wars with Iran. All right, you know, and you and you have actual wars taking place over there in in Syria. Okay, you got wars in, in uh, you know, the different parts of the Middle East, Africa, parts of Africa, all right, India, Pakistan, and there's also rumors of wars. So it's not like this is dying down. It's just that this is not the end yet. You know, this it's a it's a it's a progressive build up to World War Three, which is ultimately gonna be the end of this 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 world. All right, the war to end all wars. But nonetheless, you know. The missiles ain't gonna be shot overnight. It's, it's a buildup, which we see the buildup happening, and it's been happening. All right, we've been prophesying about it, and now it's coming. Okay, but it's like I said, it's, the end is not yet because we still got more prophecies to be fulfilled. The mark of the beast, all right, martial law. Okay, uh, the insurrection against those that fear the Lord. There's still, we still got a few prophecies to go, but nonetheless, the beginning of the end has begun. If you can receive that. Verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine. See, people are going to be dying of famine, all right, on a, on a great scale. I believe, um, and uh, let me see if I can find it. I think it's in Zephaniah or Zechariah. Let me see here. Uh, Ze where am I at? Zechariah? Let me check Zephaniah. Um... Nope, this is Zechariah. Let me see if I can find it real quick. If not, it's all good. But nonetheless, is the can't remember where it's at. It talks about how how many are gonna um they that be killed by the sword are better than they that be killed through famine. All right, because what famine you die slowly. You get like the scriptures say you be they be stricken away. All right, your inside you start your insides eating you. All right. All that, the, the acids in your stomach start eating up your insides until you just ultimately die, man. You shrivel up like a raisin, all right? So it says, um, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And we see all these things taking place. We see some famines going on around the world, but it's good. Like I said, there's nothing newsworthy, so to say, of people starving to death. But that will come as soon as this economy starts really crashes okay and then or this pestilence really uh, uh affects the transportation of the food all right like the elder ariala said it's not um that there's no food it's just that there's no methods of transportation to get the food to said places all right whether it be the supermarkets all right or wh whether it be your city all right so we're seeing these things take place right now earthquakes in diverse places you've had earthquakes all throughout the earth uh, the main ones that pop up is uh, the one in Puerto, Puerto Rico, uh, the one off the coast of Jamaica. All right, there's earthquakes happening every day in diverse places. But here in verse 8, it says, all these are the beginning of sorrow. So again, these are just the beginning. 
There's going to be a lot worse earthquakes. There's going to be a lot worse pestilences, all right? It's going to make coronavirus look like a, a, a common cold, all right? <clears throat> And they just, they're, I ain't saying coronavirus isn't a real thing, but the death rate currently isn't comparable even to Ebola. All right. And so if this is just the beginning pestilences, imagine what the pestilences the Lord will, will bring in, in, you know, later down the road. All right. Whether it be two months or, or two weeks. All right. But again, this is just the beginning. All right. Imagine the earthquakes the Lord, the, you know, they always talk about the, the California's due for a big one, the big earthquake. Well, imagine the earthquakes the Lord's going to have. Uh, taking place throughout the world all right in these last days because th if this is just the beginning of sorrows all right you know that goes to show you things are going to get a lot worse all right people are panicking which that's the tactic of esau too to blow things out of proportion all right so people can get fear installed in them and if what they're doing is they're programming people with key words such as quarantine so like that's just a normal thing when they actually start to do it okay and it's, again, if you look up the word terrorism, it's pretty much government uh, intimidation to to push out certain policy. All right. Look that word up. All right. And the, the etymology of the word. All right. But let's go to Second Ezra 16 and I'm going to start at 18. Like it. This is uh, Second Ezra 16. And 18 says the beginning of sorrows in the beginning so like the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear the beginning of evils what shall i do when these evils shall come so this is again this is the beginning man and ezra was like damn what what, what am i going to do when these things come well we're going to trust in you how about you because the scripture tell us that the lord is going to save a remnant out of his people all right all these things that are coming upon the earth, they're for the wicked. All right, they're for the the, the, the evil people of our our, our uh, uh, nation, and for the two uh, the Salaki, the the heathens. Okay, as the scriptures say that ten thousand shall thousand shall fall on the right side, ten thousand on the left side. But uh, these things shall not come nigh unto thee. All right, the evil shall not come nigh unto us, man. We, you don't need to worry about coronavirus. All right, we don't need to worry about getting caught in an earthquake. All right, or starving to death. The Lord is going to protect us. If you truly believe in Yahweh Hashem El Shai, all right, you have nothing to worry about. All right, we, our job is to push out these prophecies. All right, and when these events occur, when we we show you in the scriptures, that all right, and just and just trust in Yahweh Hashem El Shai, fear Him. All right, don't fear the things that can come upon you. All right, the plagues or the pestilences or the or the famine, whatever. Don't fear that. Fear Yahweh Hashem El Shai, the one that can send it to you if you don't if you disobey Him, if you don't do your job correctly. All right. It's verse 19, it says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. So ultimately, the Lord is sending these things out for, for amendment. So people can change or correct themselves. Okay? Scourges. These are weapons that the Lord is giving out. Mainly to who? His people. That's why it's called the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? This is uh, verse 21. Behold, victual shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case and even then shall evils grow upon earth sword famine and great confusion so this is what's coming man people think that they're in good case but ultimately they're in the worst case scenario man you know what i'm saying the people have no idea that the things are going to get a lot worse man just because you know Certain things look good right now. All right, you can you can go to the gas station and get gas for a dollar ninety nine in some states. All right, or you can go you know get a dollar burger at, at the at the fast food joint. All right, carton of egg. But wait, wait, when this thing, infl the what's it called, um, inflation hits America. All right, it ultimately will because they're they're push they're moving towards the cashless society because what they want to implement the mark of the beast, which is one of the final prophecies that we're waiting for all right and then all hell will, will, will the, the prophecies are going to come quick after that all right so we don't we don't know how a society will be when the mark be, mark of the beast is, is implemented but we we do what we do know is that the the society will still be intact because well how would you buy and sell if everything has gone to shambles you know everybody's got coronavirus everything shut down no it's not going to happen like that 
Because then you, how would you buy and sell anything, you know? Why would it matter if you could buy and sell with a chip, you know? So, you know, we, th again, this is just the beginning. So, but when that chip gets implemented, it's, it's downhill. It's a steep downhill from there on out. All right. It's a lot here. Oops. So again, this is the evils of, see, when people think they self to be in good cases, when the, the evils is going to continue to grow, all right, in, a, in, a, in an alarming rate, because it's all prophecy, man. It's going to get a lot worse, man, a lot worse for you people, not for us, it's going to get better for us, and we're going to get to see the downfall of our enemies, all right, the destruction of the non-believers, the unfaithful, all right, we're going to get to rejoice while you people mourn, we're going to get to eat while you people starve. We're going to get to drink while you people thirst. Okay. So this is Second Edges 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride, man. So you, you, you proud ass people that refuse to hearken unto the Lord. Guess what? Many great miseries are going to be brought upon you. All right. So if you, so if you don't get the coronavirus, all right, if you guess what, you'll probably get a, 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 a 10 times worse virus. All right, a uh, disease, a pestilence. You you might get, you know, um, who knows, man. The Lord got a lot coming, man. All kind of ways to die, all right, if you're not right. And then shall they know that a prophet was among them. But again, going back to what we're talking about, this is this is the score just for amendment, right? All these things that are going to be taking place is to, uh, to scourge our people for amendment, all right? To correct them but they will they still won't consider all right this is a uh, jeremiah 30 and 7 says alas for that day is great so that none is like it so th this is going to be a time like no other all right N nothing can be compared to what's going to take place on this earth man no previous time no previous pestilence no previous famine all right no previous earthquakes are going to be comparable to what the Lord is bringing in these last days, and again, we these we're past the beginning, of course. All right, the, like the scripture said in Matthew 24, these are the beginning of sorrows. We're past that threshold of the beginning, but what we're still near the beginning uh, as far as uh, these these uh, evils ramping up. All right, it's gonna be evil every every corner you are, are around every corner. There's gonna be evil, man. There's gonna be something liable to get you killed out there, man. Would there be you uh, uh, people looting, all right, when shit hits the fan, all right, wild beast, all right, uh, de uh, just just a deadly disease, somebody with a disease, cough on you, cough in your face, all right, all kind of methods of, that the Lord's going to bring to destroy these people, man, okay, and rightfully so. It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So it's the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who? The elect. The 144,000 beginning with them. And then the the rest of the one-third of the nation of Israel. All right? But what? This is the time of Jacob's trouble. Specifically made for our people. This is uh, the book of Daniel, chapter <clears throat> 12, verse 1. It says, and, and at that time, what time? The time of Jacob's trouble. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. So, again, the, 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 the one-third of the nation of Israel will be redeemed all right from from the these said perils man through their what through their faith all right through their works through the you know the, the belief man the fear the conviction in in, in trusting in your by shimmy shy them that call upon the lord shall be saved man okay the lord is a strong tower in the day in the day of trouble all right but you know like i said the scripture says it's gonna be a time like no other since the nation was made all right, you can't even imagine the, the, how how atrocious 
and horrendous the at the the this, this society will become all right life as you know it will be changed man one big event that takes place right here in america will ch will change everything okay it's gonna be a real uncomfortable time for you people all right you that you that don't fear the lord you have a lot of troubles coming for you all right so let's get um because really again this this is for the wicked of the nation of israel that's why i said that it in the daniel 12 that he, the, thy people shall be saved all right the ones that are written in the book of life those are the elect Beginning with the elect, all right, or the or the one hundred and forty four thousand, and then the rest of the uh, the one third, which are the elect. So let's go to Sirach forty <clears throat> and nine. Sirach forty nine it says, "Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood." So remember, in the um, what was it, Second uh, Ezra. 16 it said that the score it was the scourges were for amendment all right so here it says that tribulation and the scourge these things are created for the wicked so these scourges the lord will be sending in these last days which are going to continually get evil all right the, the evils will continue to grow worse and worse the diseases will get worse and worse the earthquakes will worse and worse uh the the love of many shall wax cold so people's mentality is going to get worse all right the love of people is going to get worse everything's going to get worse man so what? All of this is for the wicked, man. All right, because the Lord has to punish two thirds of our people one last time before He allows them to be born into the kingdom of heaven. All right, because now the, the beginning with the hundred forty four thousand, we're going through our purifying stage. We're being purified through the through the spiritual fire, the furnace of adversity. All right, so that we may be found worthy to enter into the kingdom of heaven as the first fruits. But the rest of our people, the two thirds, they're gonna have to you know death by pain. That's why they're going to go through these things, man. Death, bloodshed, strife, sword, calamities, famine, tribulation. Okay? That's for them. That is for them and for them only. But that that's why the, when, when these things, uh, when the, when that mark of the beast is implemented, things are going to speed up very at an alarming rate. And any day now, the Lord could just really, which he has. You know, the Lord had, uh, uh, had Apostle Tahar coined this year uh, the year of prophecy and since since january 1st prophecies have been popping off all right quicker than what we uh been seeing these past years but what when there's gonna come a, a certain point that it's just gonna be intensified man prophecies every single day every single six hours something going down you know and it's gonna be at your doorstep you know now, well, you're not going to see it on, on on articles online. You're not going to see it on CNN News. You're not going to see it on uh, uh, on Dabu 7. All right. You're going to see it on your streets. Okay. That's when you know the prophecy, the Lord speed things up. When they when you see the mark, people lined up for the mark of the beast. All right. When you see people invading each other, fighting your friends, fighting your neighbors. All right. People starving to death. All right. Then you're going to know that the Lord is not at hand. Truly. All right, which he is not at hand, but you know what I get, I'm getting at. This is uh, Matthew 24 and 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. So this is going to be the worst time ever in, 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 in the earth's history. All right, And the Lord flooded the earth and killed everybody but eight people. And that's going to be this time that we're entering, the time of Jacob's trouble is going to be worse than that. So imagine that. The Lord flooded the whole earth. Killed everyone but eight people, eight souls. And this is going to be far worse than that. Verse 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh. There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right. So that's why you see things coming quicker. Time is going quicker for the elect's sake, man, because they're, they're going to be the ones saved. All right. Because if we were here another 10 years, there would be nothing to save. All right, we would all be consumed in this wickedness, man. Esau would just <laughs> kill us ultimately, man. All right, so we'll end. again. This, this is this is the elect have nothing to worry about, man. Our job is to fear the heavenly Father and to do His word, man. So we'll end off on Psalms 140, 145, verse uh eighteen. 
says, Yahweh is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to, to all that call upon him in truth. So the Lord is nigh unto those that call upon him in truth, okay? He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him and also will hear their cry and will save them. So when we, we're, what are we doing now? We're sighing and crying unto the Lord for all the abominations done in the midst thereof, right? We're, we're pleading unto the Heavenly Father. We're beseeching him to come and save us out of this wicked and vexing world, man. Nothing but abominations walking around, man. All right, we see we see what's going on, but people don't want to listen to us, man. That, that vexes us. Even though the Lord told us that they wouldn't listen, all right? Verse 20, the, lo the Lord Yahweh preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. So there you go. The Lord is going to destroy all you wicked, all right, with all these pestilences and, and uh, uh, famines and, you know, death and destruction coming, man. But what? The Lord is going to preserve. He's going to save his elect, his chosen, the ones that call upon his name in truth and in sincerity, the ones that are doing what they're commanded to do. All right. So with that, Lord's will, and this was edifying. Shalom. Things are going to get a lot worse for the for the two thirds of you people, two thirds of the nation of Israel, and for you heathens. See what's going on in China. That's nothing compared to what's going to happen in the, in the very last days. Shalom.